I am just gonna get right into the video. I'm gonna be showing you guys another no gel wash and go. I'm gonna be using Shea Moisture this time. I have the coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk and then I have the curl enhancing smoothie. I've used these before. When I first went natural, which was, I don't know, five years ago, and I mostly use them for twist outs and braid outs, perm rod sets, all that good stuff. I've noticed that with these products, they're a little bit different. I haven't tried them yet ever since I bought them, but just looking at it and looking at the consistency, they're a little bit different. So I'm very excited to try it because last time I used it, which was years ago, the curl enhancing smoothie made my hair greasy. The curl and style milk, I always loved that. I just washed my hair, deep conditioned it, all that good stuff. This is what it's looking like. It looks so curly because I twisted it um, when I had the deep conditioner in it. I just had my hair wrapped up in a cotton t-shirt because that's the best way to go. I also have my aloe vera and water mixture. To seal it all at the end, I'm going to use almond oil. The mask? I used the coconut and hibiscus mask and my hair is so soft my hair loves thick products that is a very thick product so it was just great i am going to be trying something a little bit different when i style my hair today because i don't like having a middle part i hate it i already cut my hair into the shape that i wanted it to be it's kind of annoying when I still have like a little bit of a middle part going on because that's not what I want. I'm just going to section my hair into about five sections, three in the front to avoid the middle part and then two in the back. And I know my hair looks really curly already now, but I can guarantee you it's probably not going to look that curly. I can guarantee you it's probably not going to look that curly. Like I said, I twisted my hair. My hair normally does not look like that when I come out of the shower. I had a whole other clip where to go. You guys probably see it. My face is breaking out. I had Starbucks. <laughs> that's, that's my excuse. I had Starbucks and never again. That's all I gotta say. So, this section is a little damp. I need to work on soaking my hair though. I am going to be spraying my hair first with the aloe vera. I'm just going to saturate the whole section. And I put eucalyptus oil in this because I absolutely hate the smell of aloe vera juice. It's so disgusting to me. It just, I don't know, it's just a weird smell. I feel like some people, they like it, but not I. So my hair is soaking wet. I'm going to go in with the milk first as like my leave-in that's all the product i'm using i like the no gel wash and goes because they leave my hair so soft and fluffy and i like fluffy like i'd rather have fluff than definition if i'm being honest i like having big hair that's another reason why i stopped using gel but gel just makes my hair dry and crunchy but i will be experimenting with other gels this milk got my hair soft. It feels so good. Wow. I look you want to put more on it though. I'm so heavy handed with my products. It's not even funny. Having high porosity hair, my hair tends to soak up everything very fast. That's why you'll see me putting a lot of product in my hair. It's actually really nice going back to these products because these were products that I used religiously for my twist, but I wasn't really into wash and goes when I first went natural. I never used it for a wash and go. I've used a curl enhancing smoothie along with the olive oil eco styler gel. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It would always leave flakes in my hair when I used that combination, so I stopped using it. Well, I am going to go right ahead and apply the smoothie but I am gonna wet my hair a little bit more because it just helps with the frizz and everything you obviously don't want frizz on the first day you know you want as much definition 
It will last a little bit longer. I'm gonna take about this much. This is actually not as thick as I expected it to be, but that's okay. We'll see how my hair likes it. Hopefully it loves it. The smell. Hmm. The smell of these products is out of this world. It smells so good. All right, so I am going to apply a little bit more. Since it's not a very thick product, I'm really using this much on that section. And not shameful about it whatsoever. Because look at that. What? I think I'm going to like this wash and go. I don't want to speak too soon. But I think I'm going to like this. I just love breaking through my hair. But it's actually clumping them pretty nicely. I don't have to worry about it drying white, which is nice. I'm going to move on now. My mom, she had told me to use a towel for the product that gets on my shirt and everything. I was on the phone with her while she was watching the first video that I posted on my channel. She's like, why is it going so fast? I can't read any of it. <laughs> that was so funny. I will slow down certain parts of my videos just for her now. So my hair is dry now. <laughs> um, I literally just got out of the shop 15 minutes ago. My hair is already dry. Life with high porosity. So much fun. Natural girls are going to be the reason why we run out of water. Just saying. The amount of water I use just for my hair. Huh. I'm just mostly using the praying hands method. Along with raking the product through. Because I want to make sure that I have little to no tangles in my hair. I already detangled my hair while I had conditioner in it in the shower. So... I don't really want to detangle with a comb. I like to use little manipulation as possible. Once again, using a ton of the curl enhancing smoothie. Also, I have type 4 hair. It's a little bit harder to get my hair defined or try to find products that can get my hair defined, especially on the first day. I don't want a giant frizz ball on the first day. So I want my curls to be able to show. But my hair does feel really soft. Now you guys know what exactly the process is that I am doing. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the back of my hair and show you guys what that looks like and then I'll start working on the front. this wash and go is gonna be pretty bomb <laughs> not even gonna lie because my hair looks pretty defined i know it might look different on camera but in person it looks pretty good better than my african pride usually i can tell it's gonna be a little frizzy with the african pride whatever i don't really mind frizz but i definitely just see more definition using these two products so far so good Go ahead, Shea Moisture, and do your thing.
can actually see some of my heat damage up here. What is that? What is that? Uh-uh! A whole glob just fell on the floor. And the carpets in these dorms are disgusting. If I was at home, I would have picked it up and put it in my hair, but... We not at home. Seriously though, these carpets are like 30 years old. It's pretty gross. so now I'm gonna take my almond oil from Whole Foods and I'm gonna apply it generously to my hair using the praying hands method first I'm just gonna smooth down the top I don't like to keep going over my hair multiple times because frizz <laughs> pretty much this is just to help seal in everything. I will show you guys what it looks like after I'm done diffusing. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this definition? Shame Moisture did not come to play uh, i just want to remind y'all that there is no gel in my hair none zip zero no gel this is the best no gel wash and go i am shocked but excited it's not fully 100 percent dry that's why it looks the way it does but wow it's wash and go i don't even think it curled up like this it's starting to look how my hair did before i straightened it that is so exciting <laughs> this is probably gonna be my new wash and go routine wow wow this makes me want to try other shea moisture products for a wash and go because i know that they have a high porosity and low porosity collection so I don't know but this is so crazy I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like day three uh, whoo, day three hair with this definition in the fluff is this gonna be whew. I can't wait guys anyways I hope you enjoyed this wash and go using no gel if you've ever tried this Shea Moisture line, let me know. Let me know what you used. If you use the curl enhancing smoothie, if you use the milk, if you've used this on a wash and go, you want to use it on a wash and go because these results are so crazy. This is why I love no gel wash and goes because my hair is so soft. Even though it's defined and it has a hold to it, it's not crunchy whatsoever. And I know it's just going to get even fluffier and bigger throughout the week so i'm super excited i hope you guys enjoyed i will be posting pictures on my instagram which is also linked in the description box below if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe do whatever you want to do <laughs> i will see you next time bye guys hi everyone so this is the next morning i know you're probably wondering why is her hair wet right now so as you saw in the video i put a crap ton of product in my hair. My hair usually just needs a lot of product so I assumed that 
I would need a lot of product with these two products from the Shea Moisture line. Turns out I was wrong. So my hair last night, it dried and it didn't dry white or anything, but the more I started playing with my hair, when I started to do like my night routine with my hair, I noticed the flakes. And I know that it would not have happened if I didn't put so much product in my hair. So I didn't rewash my hair this morning, but all I did was run my hair under cold water for about a minute or so and I was like squeezing out the product. There's still product in my hair, but as you can see, it's not white like it was yesterday yeah i just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you do want to use these products for a no gel wash and go depending on your hair you might need as much product as i used but for me i used way too much so now i know for next time um the next time i do this wash and go i'm gonna be using less product and see how it works but i think that my hair is gonna come out fine my hair is so defined with these products i love it so this is definitely going to be staple products that i will be using in the future yeah i just wanted to give you guys a heads up so thank you guys so much for watching again i will see you guys next time